This is the AIY Project Kit. With this simple cardboard box, it's easy to get a natural language recognizer up and running. And there are limitless possibilities for what you can build once the kit is ready to go. Can you sing a song? This is my song. <laughs> it's not very long. <laughs> well, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is James, as you said. I'm a hardware engineer here at Google. Um, I did work in the hardware on the kit. There's a whole team of people who did the software, the hardware, the interface, the low-level drivers, um, and we're something of Google machine intelligence um, that the kit lets you tap into, hopefully in a very easy and fun way. Um, they do exactly what you program them to do, uh, not what you want them to do. Exact same thing goes with, with AI or machine intelligence. Um, there's no magic. There, there's no top secret way um, to make them um, act like uh, R2-D2 or Lieutenant Commander Data or BB. Uh, eight, depends how old your references are. So you will find things like that. After a quick demo and tutorial, it was the students' turn to build something. Well, personally, I want to make a little spider-like device that locks. With okay. Servers. I have extra servos. The students took the kits home and came back five days later to show us what they built. What this does is, it here's the action, sends a Bluetooth serial through serial, and okay. it goes right into that device right there. Go forward. Nice. Stop. It was pretty simple servo code, just to ask it to go from neutral to 90 degrees and then back. Candy. Giving you one candy. And then for this one, since we're using the servos, it only go 180 degrees. Ideally, you'd want to be able to select all four, but right now you can only select three, since it can only, <laughs> can only turn so far. That's um, why we prototype, right? Yep, yep. Enable toothbrush head rotator. Enable toothbrush head rotator. Ah, this came unplugged. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Yeah. Okay, so white's obviously facing me. Yes. yes How is cool is that? These are a couple of the projects that use servo motors controlled by that hat that comes with the AIY. It was a really nice surprise that the regular Raspberry Pi I.O. libraries just worked out of the box with it. It made building the projects that much easier. Some of the kids, though, took a decidedly more software approach. Let's take a look at the voice services that they implemented. Push the button. Shop for something. Shop for New York Yankees baseball hats. So what's actually happening now? Woo! So she just said done, right? Yep. Okay. So what actually happened was that when it said done, it's just sent links to my email okay. after finding it on eBay. Oh. So it'll find results online, send links in an email to me, and I'm going to receive those so then I can quickly click and buy something if I wanted to. First, when you uh, say a command word, so, uh, in this case that's food, it goes to a function and then it takes a picture with the camera uh, using the Pi, Pi camera library. Okay. What food is this? The food item is one of the following. Candied apple, raw tomato, rainier cherry, or hard-boiled egg. <laughs> you can see where it also think of a rainier yeah. cherry because it's kind of yellow. Pick a color, any color. Okay, I'll be blue. Is black. that black? black? Okay, I'll be black. So we start off, we say, new game as black. Epoch takes D5, your move. Yep, I do here. So I'll, I'll move like this one. So what is that, D7 to D5? Okay. Pawn to D5. E4 takes D5, your move. I like how sassy it is. Yeah. It's like, E4 takes E5, your move. <laughs> this is what happened when some high school kids got the AIY kit and hacked on it for just a few days. All of them were inspired to do more, from expanding their hardware projects to using more cloud services. Many of them had never even used Python before, and the open source code that comes with the AIY was a great launch pad for them to learn. So what will you build? Learn more at AIYprojects.withgoogle.com and do let us know.